YouTube. Uh, hope y'all having a good day. So uh, today's video, I have the 2020 Ducati Panigale V2. And uh, before getting on real quick, you know, the highlights of this bike, it is basically it is taking the place of the old Ducati 959. And real quick, just a couple of uh, cool highlights of this bike engine wise. It is a 955cc, but according to Ducati, they have added 5 horsepower. So we'll see. I'm, I'm really excited for, I'm really excited to get this ride going. I um, really want to check out the engine, of course, but, you know, really just the new, uh, the, the Showa front fork. Got the single-sided si single swing arm, Olin suspension. And, uh, you know, they really, really, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's an awesome upgrade from the 959. Got a little bit of a, of a facelift. Just walking around the bike, you know, the, it, it, it really resembles, you know, the V4. You know, with the fairings and stuff. It's just, you know, I'll, I'll tell you right now, it's, it's, it's less intimidating, especially when, when you get on the bike. Um, from the 959, you know, the position of the foot pegs is the same. And let me just say that it is extremely sporty, which I'll go in depth once I get on and, and, and start this first ride. But, uh, yeah, just looking at the bike, it is it, it is just, man, solid Ducati bike. It does come with the up with an upgraded quick shifter up and down. Um, yeah, you got the Brembo four-piston monoblock. I don't know about y'all, but I'm just excited. So let's let's hop on this bike. Let's get this started. Say we go ahead and uh, turn her on. How about it, man? I'm excited, guys. I'm really excited for this. All right. So there, there you get a good look for the dash, and uh, let's start her up. <laughs> let's start with a little sound test how about it and it's guys it sounds good guys oh you can you can oh my oh all right all right that's uh that exhaust silencer it uh it doesn't stop the engine from sounding loud Woo, okay so uh all right let's start this so being on the bike i really like it isn't like the v4s they, you know ducati nailed it it is more narrow it, it's it's less it's less beefy it, it, it's it's really like it's less intimidating it's it's more it's more of a friendly bike but once you uh once you uh you know grab the handlebars and and you you place your feet on the foot pegs you realize like okay this thing is uh made for definitely made for the track but ducati has made simple little changes like even adding a little bit more cushion to the seat you know just to add some comfort for the more of a normal rider like 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 me and, and most of y'all right um as you can see here showa um and yeah go through the dash real quick so right now it's on sport mode and basically what you 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 hold this button right here you hold it down and boom you have it on sport mode which basically tells you the pre settings um traction control the ducati quick shifter up down abs wheelie control and uh yeah engine is medium so i don't know about y'all but i'm gonna go ahead and uh change it to race which basically lowers everything and makes the engine on high so i really want to i really want to see what this bike can do i'll tell you one thing though it's already kind of there's a lot of there's there's a good amount of heat so yeah engine is a little warm but uh anyways guys uh i don't know about y'all but uh i'm ready seating position i'm telling you right now is a 
pretty dang aggressive. I'm six foot two and I, I, I feel very tall. I feel, I feel kind of, kind of large on this bike. Just as expected, 155 horsepower on a 440 pound bike. The power to weight ratio is pretty darn good. So you're like, I'm not surprised. I was expecting a good kick and without even trying, this engine is impressing me already. So this bike does run you MSRP 16,495 but all after destination and prep and whatnot and taxes you'll be lucky if if you get this under 19 grand. So it is definitely a pricey bike in its class. Maybe even the maybe even it's pricey one of the priciest ones. And uh, you just got to understand that you're getting a Ducati. Yes. Oh, quick shifter is butter, guys. I love this quick shifter. bike sounds great so I'm on third gear 6,000 rpm oh boy oh this bike this bike's got an engine that is... Woo! This twin cylinder can go! Oh man, the, the engine and the gearbox and the... Everything just works hand in hand it's like a symphony this bike man this this I I am impressed guys like You climb the RPM range and you're going to be amazed. Oh. <laughs> all right guys, all right, all right, all right. Um enough, enough with the hooliganism. Mr. Jawline, I'm a beginner rider. Is this the bike for me? Hell no! Sorry, buddy. But even if you're a intermediate, do not get this. This has a lot of racetrack ability.
All right, I need to catch my breath, guys. I don't even know what I'm doing. The suspension. The... Whoa! <laughs> oh! The engine, quick shifter, suspension. Dang, this bike is freaking... This, this bike is beautiful, man. Just a beautiful, beautiful bike. Another thing I'm noticing is that it's very aer aerodynamic, guys. Just, just another, you know, racetrack. But it's awesome, you know, just riding it on the road. It, it, it's nice. Oh, Quick Shifter is amazing, guys. Amazing. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm like. It's just, it's just so much fun. Acceleration test. The sound of this engine. It's like addicting. This this is a this is a great great. I mean, you you get the sense that this is made for the racetrack. But Ducati's just trying hard or at least trying to to make it you know more rider friendly which which honestly guys <laughs> even if you don't go to the racetrack but but this is your motorcycle man you're going to be turning a lot of heads it's just like it just feels solid you it, it's it's a very planted motorcycle too fudging dumbass Surprisingly, this uh, this bike's got some long gears, but dang, there's torque, torque galore, freaking! I am shocked. This is a amazing super sport bike. Is this a good, you know, just street bike? I don't know if my height hurts me, guys, but my arms are getting a little bit tired. It's a very aggressive seating position. If you're going to be riding a lot, um, I'm going to be honest, you, you, you're going to get a little, a little tired. So that's that's one that's one negative and it's not I'm not trying to take anything away from the bike it is what it is It's 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 a great solid just kick ass motorcycle it, it, it I'm not even trying to like talk bad about it but you know there's different necessities out there and if you're a 
you're an advanced rider that is gonna freaking hand over almost 20 grand you really want to know what you're getting into and this bike it's it's a very very aggressive super sport position seating position bike yeah I mean it's great but you you got to know that and then I'm feeling a lot of heat you know and it probably has to do with the dang exhaust underneath the seat so but yeah it's, it's getting it's getting hot and uh, you know it doesn't have cruise control there's, there's a couple things that you better know before you think about purchasing this bike but other than that it's really hard to talk bad about this bike because it, it, it this this definitely is made for the track and I'm just like what's my verdict it it's a it's a little brother of the of the V4 but it's really like you don't even want to compare it to any other bike it does have daytime running lights as you can see that's one pretty pretty badass feature but uh yeah that's really cool too it's got lights on the handlebar that Italian trademarks and uh, yeah these nice you know they they're trying to make resemble to the v4 they're trying to make it resemble the v4 and uh, it's just I mean there is some sick technology in this bike and you gotta know that but all in all dang what would I buy this bike? I mean, let me let me rephrase that. Would I, if for whatever reason possible, would I own this bike? Heck yeah, because I know just taking it out, you're always gonna love when you take it out. You're gonna turn heads, you're gonna get compliments. It's one of those bikes where it's really just, it's really just, amazing just walking around the bike guys it's a uh, it's a really good looking bike it's it's clean you know the fairings it's just it's just a nice looking bike guys well there you have it guys the 2020 ducati panigale v2 155 horsepower and gosh darn it really hope y'all enjoy this one because i sure did Whew. if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button guys Hit it, hit it, and I'll see you on the next. Take care.